Hey there, it's Jojo the Thrifty Teacher here with another haul. Um, I am a part-time reseller, full-time educator, and I just resell to make extra money. I want to buy new windows. I want to buy a new door. Um, I want to fix... Never mind, I don't need to tell you about my car. And so I just, I started doing this for fun about two years ago just to see. I've been watching tons of YouTube people um, and I'm just doing this for fun. I do not edit my videos. What you see is what you get because I am doing it for fun. I'm not trying to become an influencer, et cetera, et cetera. I have a huge clothing haul today. I've taken pictures of all this stuff and I haven't listed it yet because I spent, now if you're a reseller, you'll know how I'm feeling about this. I spent a pretty big portion of my weekend cleaning up a p the pile. Remember how you, there was piles of clothes up there. So I got approved to foster dogs at the shelter that I volunteer at. And so I needed to clean up an area. The dog is going to be welcome to be on that couch with me, but if they don't want to, I want them to have a couch of their own. So, um, so I spent, and then I got rid of, I was so proud of myself. I went to the storage and I cleaned out a whole trunk load of stuff to give to the um, thrift store. Then I had my whole front and back seat piled with garbage, like boxes that I thought I was going to want, but they're, like, they're too heavy by themselves, and just some other things <clears throat> straightened up, and then came home and did the same thing. I have three empty totes now. Uh, I listened to somebody that I know that said, why aren't you vacuum sealing the clothes? I'm like, I never thought of that. So I bought some vacuum sealing bags. Those things are expensive. Uh, and <clears throat> I think I'm in pretty good shape now. Um, so let's get into it. I will show you the clothes first. And then I found these little dragony dragons. And I'll show you those in a minute. Um, well, actually, let me do that first. So I found this for my glass collectors. Isn't that pretty with the iridescence? Isn't that pretty? And it is a uh, hunter glass. It's hunter glass, isn't that cute? I like the iridescence on it. If it was Fenton, I would be keeping it. And then, I can't remember what I paid for that. A couple bucks. Um, and then there was at, I can't remember that White Dove, they had a 50% off on Black Friday. So I got this. I think I paid $4 for these ones because they were half off. Look at them. Look at the eyes on it. Isn't that neat? Signed. These are Enchant Enchantica 1986 Holland Studio Craft Hand Painted in Staffordshire, England. So I looked a few of these up and they went for like $20 to $50 each. So for four bucks, I'm not going to not pick it up. And they weren't, there was probably, she said there was probably 20 there um, at the beginning of the day. Uh, and I picked out four and there's probably eight left. But some of them I didn't like the designs and some had like imperfections. So there's this one. Look at this little baby. It's sleeping. Doesn't even have his eyes open. He's cute. And then this one in a little nest. Their eyes are just so cool. And then this one is, this one's my favorite just because I like a, like the eyes and the ears. But this one is my second favorite. Look at the little wings. Like, feed me, mamas. Reminds me of that show that I did not like. That dinosaur show. Where the baby was always mean to the dad. Who was I just talking to about that? I just hated that show. Wasn't it on Friday? So you had to watch it so you could see the other like Full House and Perfect Strangers and all that. Anywho, so let's get into it. This reminded me of Lily Pulitzer. It is not. I was so excited about this stuff. Ellen Tracy. I think I paid up for this. I think I paid $7.99. But... I just love it. It could be worn as a dress, but it's a pajama. I like the little sleeves and it's long. And I like how it has the side slits, but I just thought it was really pretty. 
a really pretty dress. It is super long. I would wear this as a dress. They had it in the pajamas, but that doesn't mean anything. But I just thought it was really pretty. Very Lily Pulitzer. Then this. And some of my friends have been asking, like, how do you know if it's good or not to pick up? First, I go by look, if I like the way it looks. And then I go by the, the tag. And if it's really nice and I don't recognize the tag, like some of these pizzas I'm going to show you, pieces, not pizzas. Uh, I look up the tag because sometimes the tags look cheap, very deceiving. This is an Oscar de la Renta. Not all Oscar is created equal. This is 100% Pima cotton. Pima cotton is good. It's just a little night shirt, night gown. I just loved how it goes all the way in the front and back. Because you know a lot of um, nightgowns and stuff like that only has the lace on the front. Thought it was pretty. Oh, let's talk about the dress. See how long the dress is? There's my Ziploc bags. See how long that dress is? And it has a little bit of like a gold leather. That's a Halston dress with tags still on it. That dress was $12.99 or $14.99, right? At Salvation Army. I think on a Wednesday before Thanksgiving. And I was like, I've already bought two dresses at twelve, one at twelve ninety nine and one at eight ninety nine. And I was like, I'm not spending money on this again. It was really dirty at the bottom and because it's super long. And I was like, I'm not gonna do this. So then when I went up to the checkout, the lady was like, Hey, um, just to let you know, they're having a half off on Black Friday and Saturday. Okay. They opened at 8 that day, so I showed up at 8.15, went right to the back, and grabbed that dress. I also grabbed a Tommy Bahama dress that I had left there. Let's keep going. This is a Remy USA. It's actually vintage, a nice leather jacket. It's so soft. It's so soft. I love the double buttons here. What is that? Double breasted? But what I thought was cool, and shout out to my Wisconsin friend. Look at the lining. It's so 70s. I don't know what year it is, but. Um, the company it came from stitched their own little label. Holtzman Furs in Milwaukee. And then somewhere it has, where are you? Where are you? Where are, there you are. It has this. It says, use professional leather cleaning methods only. We recommend Aero Leather Care. Uh, and then it calls. Isn't that funny? They are, they're even advertising for somebody. I thought that was cool. So this, um, I think, was $8. And um, I think I listed this one. I did list this one, I think, for $40 or $60, $70. I don't know. This is J. Joe Wherever Collection. Extra large, good size. Made in the Philippines. I loved the color of it. I love how it feels. The wherever collection is not supposed to like, uh, the material is not supposed to like wrinkle. Of course, if you ball it up like I do. But I just loved it. It's like a loose cardigan. Isn't that cute? Cute. I haven't looked up most of this stuff yet. Um... Just because I spent a lot of time cleaning. And uh, I had a really good day of sales on Thursday, on Friday, on Saturday. For me, good sales. Like eight or nine going out a day is good for me. Because I'm only listing two a day maybe. This is one that you have to, excuse me, look up the label. Because I saw, excuse me, I saw this. Right? So I tell you guys, I go by feel. This is real big. Look how big this is. But it's supposed to be like lagging look, slouchy. 
Look at the back with the scalloping. Well, the front has scalloping too, but I just love the scalloping. And look at the buttons. And then like the texture. Okay. This is called Dress to Kill. And it is one size, made in the USA. That's also another thing. I will look up a label if it says made in the USA. But um, this, they knew what they had at Goodwill because it was $12.99. I got a 20% discount. But these retail for like $300. So I'm going to ask $90 to $100 on this. It's so cool looking. I don't know who, I mean, you can tell it's quality, but I stain my clothes, so there's no point in me getting anything good, you know? This is another one. Um, I, I like selling this brand. I don't come across it too often, and when I do, it's high priced. This was another half off, thank goodness. Look how blingy this one is. So it does have these and they kind of don't stay closed but I feel like you wouldn't necessarily close this let me see but it has it on the sleeves it has it on the back it has it on the pockets and this is a good brand to look out for I think it's a mature woman's brand DG2 it's a 2x so that's gonna be good um it is made in China. Ramy, I don't know what that is. Cotton, polyester, spandex. But it's just like a really good piece. Again, they priced it up, but it was half off that day. So I think I paid $4 for this. But DG2, I usually pick up unless it's really worn. There's another DG2 jacket, but it was... It was pretty worn. You could tell the person enjoyed it. Uh, this is another one you guys need to look out for. Misook. Now, don't get it confused with Miss Look, which I think hmm, I would sue that company if I was Misook. This sells for good money. Uh, made in Korea. It is vintage. It has some shoulder pads. Just a really nice business casual dressy top you could wear this to work you could dress it up with some boots and some jewelry this would look really cute at Christmas with like a pair of red pants and some black boots yes um this is universal thread universal thread isn't a big seller I mean it sells but it doesn't sell for a lot sorry um, universal thread, but it's a 4X, and this is incredibly soft. And I have already had uh, one watcher on it, and I just listed it last night. I love the buttons. I might be wearing this one because it's so soft and snuggly, and you don't, you can wear it as a sweater because it's so big. But yeah, huge. I love it, and it's super soft. And I think I got it because it was on sale. Oh, I know what I needed to do. No, no, no. I didn't get this at Goodwill. I got this at Salvation Army. I need to cut this before I forget. I did ask my sister to buy me a sweater shaver for Christmas. This one is so cute. I wish it was my size. Lauren Ralph Lauren is another good one to pick up, size medium. Look at this, though. Isn't this perfect for Christmas? Perfect. I love the ruffles. And what I love about the ruffles is the color. See how it's like this on this side? It's like a washed out color. I don't know. I love it. And it has a little um, darting in the back to make it come in a little bit. Wouldn't this, even though it has, it has blue in it, but it also has black in it. Wouldn't this look good with a pretty black velvet skirt oh, and boots? A long skirt with slouchy boots or a knee skirt with like calf. Yeah, that would look good. So cool. That one, 
was like $8.99 with 20% off. This one I might have shown before. I don't remember. Peruvian Connection. I listed it. All of a sudden it's not listed. Can't find it in my unsold. Can't find it in my deleted. Can't find it anywhere. Peruvian Connection sells pretty well. It's a pretty high-end brand. Alpaca. Made in Peru. Where all the alpacas live. This has already got a couple watchers, and I listed this last night. It is a size large, which is a good size. Disney. And it's, like, brand new. I don't think they wore it. Isn't that cute with Lilo and Stitch? And that says, Merry Christmas in Hawaiian. Love it, love it, love it. I think I paid up for that. I think I paid $8.99 and I only listed it for $20 something. But I was like, you can't pass that by. I do pick up some Susan Graver. She was a QVC person. She sold on QVC. I don't know where else she sells, but Susan Graver, extra large. I pick up things. Like I um, sold like a burnout blouse from her. I thought this was beautiful. With all the embroidery. Look how pretty that is. And I love like the Asian inspired. The way it buttons. And then. Look at the back. They did, even did the back. Boy this probably went for a lot on her channel. On QVC. Super soft like dark purpley velvet. Love it. I haven't researched it yet. But I'll probably go for like 30 maybe. And take a best offer. I don't do free shipping and I do best offers. Like I set the price and best offer and I'm always sending offers out to people. Um, recently too because I'm trying to get rid of a large amount of my inventory. Um, so I'm really going to try not to shop. Because I just have a lot. I just have a lot. I wish somebody, like one of the YouTube influencers that go around picking places, would come and pick my storage. This is cool. This is a Marvel. So you like, okay, let me just show you. So you're like, oh yeah, that's cute, whatever. Lag and look. It has the little lace details, right? It's a Marvel. Large, extra large. But then look at the back. Look at the back. Look at the back. I did have to pay up for this one, but I didn't care because it was cool. Look at the back of this. Isn't that cool? That is so cool. I might wear that. Of course, you wear your hair up so everybody can see it on the back. And then I think I'll show you this one and then my other one that I thought was so cool. Now, this one's Crazy Town. This is one of those that they did charge $12 or $13.99. I did get 20% off. Okay, so you see this, right? And this is the hood. So here's the hood. You're like, cool, 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 whatever. Right? And you go down to the bottom. It has pockets. You go down to the bottom, and it has this cool, like, see how, like, it bunches up front and back? So this is one that I looked at because of the material, okay? Let me scoot back up. Because of the material. So I saw the material, and I was like, I'm going to check that out. And I'm always looking at buttons that, so this is a purely for decoration button, but I always look at, okay, they put that there. It has a hood. Okay, guys. This is a Bolo brand. Be on the lookout. Igor. This is a brand that I did research. I was trying to find the tag. Here's the tag. Um, 100% linen. Linen's always a good thing. Let me see. 
I was like, can't read that language. Um, made in Croatia. It's called the Colombo. Couldn't find the Colombo online. This dress, these dresses retail $495, $300. What? What? The website's amazing. It's very um, abstract art inspired. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Because at first I was like, Igor, that doesn't even look like anything. And then when you read it underneath and it said whatever it said, I'm like, but that doesn't sound like English, which made me want to look it up. Because usually when you find a good quality material and it's not made in the USA, but it's still good quality material, you know you got something. So that's amazing. I haven't listed it yet. Sometimes those ones that are high value, I, I just don't list as quickly. I don't know why. Probably because I want to do some more research on their website just to see. Um, it definitely from the pictures looks like more mature women. But it's very, it reminds me of what an artist would wear, you know, just cool. Here's the last one. This is another one that when I saw it at Salvation Army on half off day, they had just brought out a rack and they just set all the racks around. I always look at the snaps. If they are the pearl snaps or anything cool with snaps, they're more expensive than just regular snaps or like buttons. So of course I'm like, yes, let me look at this. And I just loved the the plaid and I loved the look of it and I loved how clean it was. And then I looked up this brand and again, look at the tag. I feel like when you have a tag that has a lot of stuff on it, <clears throat> it's number one, older and number two, quality. It's Sears. Are there any, any more Sears? Um, Sears, the Mars store, jeans joint. It doesn't have anywhere other tags in there to show you what it's made from, which I thought was weird. But, um, so I think I paid three or four dollars for this. And this is going to, I'm going to list this for probably 60 to 70 bucks. I just, I love finding stuff like this. I love finding stuff like this. Like, did they not wear it or did they just take really good care of it? Because this got to be, this got to be at least 30, 40 years old, if not older. It's just, I just love it. I love everything about this kind of clothes. And I love finding, like when I found this on the rack, I was like, <gasps> Especially when I didn't even look it up first. I just grabbed it because of that tag. I was like, they, they put a lot into that tag. Beautiful, right? Beautiful. Anyway, so I will be, I was going to say freeze drying those. Not freeze drying them. I am going to um, put these in the vacuum sealer. I have a feeling some of them are going to sell pretty quick. So that's okay, right? Uh, anyway, this is Jojo the Thrifty Teacher. If you want to follow me on Instagram, it's also Jojo the Thrifty Teacher. You can always message me there. My whatnot is Jojo Vincent. I don't really sell on whatnot. I do buy on whatnot. I just bought two pieces of jewelry last week, one for myself and one to resell, a really pretty brooch. And then yesterday, what did I buy? Oh, a necklace from Kat, the nurse flipper. It's that one that's sterling and it has like the, the like rhinestone hearts. But then if you want to, you can put them all together and they make, they make a four leaf clover. I've always wanted one of those. So I think I paid 10 or 12 or $15 for that. And then another necklace brooch. I don't know. I don't remember. But I paid up for that for myself. But you know, I'll wear it, but I also list it. So anyway, Jojo the Thrifty Teacher, thank you for joining. Remember, I do not edit my videos, so what you see is what you get.
Bye.